Hi everyone, it's Lisa with Lily's Designs. Today, I'm excited because I want to tell you about my new Christmas gift I bought for myself. It's the Juki MCS 1500 cover stitch and chain stitch machine. Now, I've been wanting this machine for quite a while and I'm really glad I took the plunge because I love this machine. It is awesome. I'm only sorry I didn't get it sooner. But you know, when I was researching the Juki MCS 1500, there was great reviews, but nobody really did a demo on this machine. There's a lot of people threading the machine, but nothing on the machine stitching out. So this is why I really wanted to do this video. Not only unboxing it, I want to give my review on it, and I want to share some helpful tips in hopes that it helps you in your search and hopefully you'll get the machine a lot sooner than what I did. Now this machine isn't for everybody, but if you sew a lot of knits, this is the perfect machine. It's a massive time saver, not only for hemming, but also when you're top stitching elastic for active wear, swimsuits, and underwears too. Since I got this machine, quite a few people have asked, what is a cover stitch machine? And why not use a sewing machine to do the same effect? So I wanna go over why I got this machine and give you a little bit of knowledge on a cover stitch and chain stitch machine. If you ever try to sew knit on a sewing machine, you will find it a little tricky and frustrating. I found I avoid sewing knit on any stretchy material for this reason. A cover stitch really takes all the trouble and error out of this otherwise tricky task. It beautifully hems on most types of garment, especially knit. It does it much quicker and with a stretchable seam that will not break. A cover stitch machine can also attach in place elastic or other trims to any garment in a hurry. Again, with a stretchable seam that will not break. It could even take the trouble out of attaching binding. If you look at a t-shirt and most garments, you will notice the hem is done with the cover stitch. The same goes for bathing suits, leggings, and most stretchable material. I want to take my sewing to the next level and with this machine I will be able to do it with less frustration and more enjoyment. Now let me show you how easy it is to set up this machine. Raise your support rod fully. Turn slightly until it catches in place in these two spots. Grab your thread guide. You want to make sure your arrow is facing forward and place it on top of the support rod. And you will notice that Juki color coded the yellow matches up with the yellow, the green, and the blue matches up with the blue. You want to grab your spool holder and I want to show you a tip I did. I marked them with the marker on the tips of it so you can easily know which spool goes where. Not sure why Juki or other company don't do this. They color coded everything else but not the top of the spools. So if you'd like to follow along what I did, here's how I color coded it. And you can use marker, pen, nail polish, paint, or whatever else you can think of that will stay permanent. And we'll go ahead and take these three notches to the three holes right here and push it until it locks into place. You might have to lift it a little bit and then down. I will be using the large spool of thread so my cones need to go upside down. I'm going ahead and putting all four on now and then I'm going to place all four threads on top. Next, I will show you how to pre-thread this machine, which is very easy. 
And I like to start off with the looper thread, which is the purple one. And you can see that it is running in the back down here. The purple is right here. And if you like, you can go ahead and mark colors over here too as well, which I think I'm going to do that too. Okay, I got the two lined up. And now I'm going to wrap it around my finger and just tie a knot. Now you want to cut a little bit of extra string off. And what I like to do is wrap the thread around here so it's out of the way. You want to repeat the same steps for the three other threads. I'm going to speed through. And I'll slow down when I get to the last one. And I'll repeat the process and show you. You're going to grab the threads, tie it in a knot, pull it, clip it, next we will run the thread through the thread guide, start with the looper, the purple one, Next is green. Then blue. And you'll notice the blue has two. So you'll want to run the thread through both of them. And then the last one is yellow. For this demo, I went ahead and switched out my thread from white to black, so it would be easier for you to see my thread run through the machine. The first thread we will pull through is the looper. Always start with that one first, so you don't have to re-thread your needles. If you're not sure which thread that is, just look under your foot and you'll see it's the only thread that is coming from the bottom. Pull on it go nice and slow and you'll see it coming through once it surfaced to the top Go ahead and cut the extra thread off. And let's do the three other, which is blue, green, and yellow. And it doesn't matter which one you want to choose first. I will start with blue. But before I do that, I like to separate my threads and get them untwisted. And you can pull on them a little bit so you can know which is which. I will pull on my blue. You can see it coming down. It will stop at the needle. Next, pull the green thread. When it gets to the needle, stop, and then the last one is yellow. All you have to do now is thread the needle, you are done. 
Now let's get stitching. I will show you all the different stitches this machine will do. The first one is a four thread cover stitch. And before we get started, I want to share a tip with you. Juki has a hemp foot and it's priced at $52.99 and I just can't get myself to spend that kind of money for such a little piece of metal. And I really don't need it because I use sewing edge tape and it works great. Let me show you how it works. I flip my fabric over so the wrong side is showing and the hem is facing up. I line up where I want my needle to go and then I lower the press of foot to hold my fabric in place. Then grab some sewing edge tape and I cut mine in half and lay it right next to the fabric edge. Raise your press of foot, flip your fabric over, line it up next to the tape, and sew. I'll show you another trick. That is, lock it in the stitches when sewing is complete. Turn your hand wheel counterclockwise until your needle goes down into the fabric and then back up. Raise your press of foot. And then you're going to grab the front of the press of foot, lift it slightly, grab some tweezers or you can use a flat edge and get right behind those threads, pull them forward. and clip them. Now just tug a little bit on your material and that should release it. You'll see the stitches are in the back and that locks it in. I'm very happy with the stitches of this machine. I need a few adjustments, but I'll learn them as I go along. But if you notice in the back, I lined it up perfectly and that was due to the sewing edge tape. If you'd like to purchase that, I'll list it down below in the description so you can easily find it. I will also list the link to where I purchased this awesome Juki MCS 1500 machine. It was on sale when I got it and hopefully when you click on the link, you'll get the same price. The second stitch I'll show you is a three thread cover stitch wide. To do this stitch, you will remove the middle needle, which is the color-coded green one. I don't take my thread out, I just cut it by the dot, which is the green dot, right here. And then I remove the needle. I adjusted my tension and these stitches came out great. I am so happy with the results of this. This is the three thread cover stitch wide. The third stitch I'll show you is the chain stitch. To do this stitch, you need to remove the middle and right needle. That is the blue and green color coded one.
As you can see, the chain stitch forms a single line, which is nice for bias tape, gathering, going up the side of the lake, and so many other uses. The fourth stitch, which is the very last stitch I'll show you, is the three thread cover stitch narrow. You will remove the right needle, which is the blue color coded one, and I'll clip the threads right by the blue dot. And I'll remove the needle. This stitch is going to work great on my doll clothes. And one other thing before I let you guys go is, I wanted to share with you that Juki Cover Stitch Press of Foot will raise as high as 10 millimeters, so it can withstand a thick piece of fabric. Well guys, it's time for me to go play with my machine and make some Christmas gifts. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my video, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell. This way, you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And please share my video on your social media. This way, I can continue to offer free patterns. Thank you. Bye-bye.